g'day y'all, Bear here, and uh, just thought I'd pass on one of my little tips to you. If you like the new COVID look, it's not bad, is it, eh? Something a bit different. The old hippie's back again. Now listen, when I get to the boat ramp, I can't believe how many people still make an absolute mozza of it, even with today's day and age of drive-on trailers and, uh, and boat catches and accessories and all the rest of it, but they still stuff up. Here's a really simple, cheap and easy tip to make your life and everybody else's life a whole heap easier around you. All it is, is a rope. It's as simple as that, probably $5 worth of rope. On this one I've used about 20 mil or 19 mil silver rope, so it's a good quality rope, and I have spliced it as well. But you can do it with anything probably from about a 16 mil rope. Anything that you feel confident would hold that boat on the trailer. So here we go, the rope, I make it detachable so it's spliced on both ends. You can take it off. Mine just lives permanently on the boat. It runs from the winch post, just with a hitch around the winch post, all the way back to the rear bollard. And I'll show you how to use it for both launching and for retrieval. Right, oh, here comes the fun part, and this is all pretty easy when you think about it. So the boat is actually held on the trailer at the moment by the, uh, the winch strap and the safety chain. All we're doing there is unclipping the boat and easing the boat back until its weight is taken up with the rope. At that point, the boat's held securely on the trailer. You can disconnect the winch strap and carefully walk down, some ramps are really pretty slippery remember, walk down and jump into the boat. So the boat's disconnected completely except for the rope onto the rear bollard, but just make sure your rear bollard's nice and strong obviously before you attempt this one. From then it's just straight through your basic startup procedures, ready. All I'm going to do is put it into gear and drive forward on the trailer and that takes the weight off the rope so you can disconnect. There she goes. Take the rope off, place it on the little hook on the mud guards. That's a detachable hook that I just put onto the wing nut so I can take it off when I'm not using it. Most of the time it just lives there now though. There we go. Back into neutral, into reverse if need be, and off you come. It's that simple. Retrieving the boat's just as easy. You just make sure that when you're backing down the trailer that the rope is still held firmly in the little clip on the trailer in the little hook and make sure that it's not going to get impeded by the wheels or something like that on the way down and clear of the rollers as well so as we can just reach out this one with a little gaff I reach over the side pick up the rope just straighten out make sure it's not being fouled in any of the rollers Quite easy just with a little whipping action and straight onto the rear bollard. There we go, your boat is actually safely on the trailer from that point. Just ease off the power quickly. You know you've had the power on the whole time there, so just ease the power off and the weight will be taken up on that rope yet again. Tilt your motor up, well stop the motor first, tilt your motor up, climb out of the boat and flip it back on. It's that simple. <laughs> Trying to get your pants wet. Probably not uh, recommended in croc infested waters, I suppose. Look, at the end of the day, I guess this isn't replacing a boat catch or any of the other uh, boat catching mechanisms that are around there, but it certainly does a very good positive locking job with very little cost and you know you're going to get it right every time single-handedly 
So there you have it. Who'd have thunk it was that easy after all these years, eh? Any, at the end of the day, just one little tip. I wear the Shimano um, shoes. They're plastic shoes with a really good non-slip sole. A set of Crocs might be good. Watch out for those slippery boat ramps and the, uh, the Shimano's have got a good grippy sole on them as well. So well worth investing in. If you're liking the wind sheeter, hey, keep your eyes open. Dead Rise wind sheeters coming very, very soon. So watch this place. Hope you're enjoying Dead Rise as much as we are. See ya. Bye.